Distinguishing between assimilation and accommodation can be a little tricky. According to Piaget's theory, we all have schemas, or frameworks, that help us organize information. In childhood, these schemas develop through a process of assimilation and accommodation. In the process of assimilation, we take new information and assimilate, or add, it to our existing knowledge. Imagine a schema for a Santa Claus that includes an overweight man with a long white beard. When a child encounters Santa at the mall and notices that he is wearing glasses, he assimilates or adds that information into his existing schema so that the schema for Santa now includes an overweight man with a long gray beard wearing glasses. Imagine a filing cabinet with different folders. Each folder contains a schema, and when you assimilate new information, you simply file it away in the already existing folder. Accommodation, on the other hand, occurs when you have to adjust your schema to incorporate new information. One day, when the author's three-year-old walked in McDonald's and saw a large man with a white beard and glasses eating at a booth, she yelled, there's Santa Claus. She was quickly told that it wasn't Santa because he did not have on a red suit he didn't have any elf helpers, and he wasn't at all jolly at being identified as Santa. She then accommodated her schema with this new information and filed it away in a new folder, possibly titled, Men Who Aren't Santa.